Italy's first football news side Atalanta Benevento Bologna Cagliari Cibo Croton Fiorentina Genoa Inter Juventus Lazio Milan Napoli Roma Sampdoria Sassuolo Spal Torino Udinese Verona Premier League Liga Bundesliga Other Leagues 27 September at 16.30 when news broke that AC Milan were likely to lose fullback Andrea Conti to an injury, there was hardly any lack of concern among the Rossoneri faithful across the world. Apart from the obvious concern, when Milan did release a statement confirming the timeline which the former Atalanta men would be out, the fans were left wondering as to whether they will miss him or not. Or rather, they wondered how much they will be likely to miss him as the season wears on. After having arrived from the Bergamo-based club this past summer, the start that Conti has made to life in Milan had been rather pleasant. He did well for the Italy U21s in the recently concluded UNDER 21 European Championships in Poland, playing regularly at right back under Luigi Di Baggio. He did play a role at left back for Ledi last season, helping Gian Piero Gasparini's men finish as fifth in Serie A. That finish was enough for the attention of a lot of the bigger clubs to shift to Atalanta, and Conti deservedly got it when Milan made a move for him. The 25 million euros arrival to the north became part of a bandwagon that was roped in from a host of other clubs in an attempt to raise the bar at a club that desires to get back to the top of the Italian game once again. Or rather, he became part of a whole new Milan backline that was expected to feature regularly for the Rossoneri. With Ricardo Rodriguez at left back and the duo of Leonardo Benucci and Matteo Musacchio at centre back, Conti was to settle into a backline quickly and probably start off doing well from the beginning. And that was exactly what happened. Performances in the Europa League can't be relied upon to judge a player's early form, especially considering the sides that Milan faced, but the Serie A performances offered more than just a glimpse of promise of what is to come. In what was a near man of the match performance on opening day against Croton, Conti was one of the best players on the pitch. It was Suzo's direct approach and his tendency to drift in that brought the best out of the Italian's toolkit. That allowed him to play more like a wing-back something that has favoured him throughout his career. Even against Cagliari, Suzo's presence on the right flank made things comfortable for Conti, who didn't have too good a game, but Milan managed to pick up all three points from a tricky clash. Early signs of promise have petered out as a result of the concerning knee injury, and, while Conti is probably the best player Vincenzo Montella had in that position, he is still 23 and still has the time to bring the best out of himself. He's fortunate to play in the system that Milan currently playing in, utilizing the 352 shape more often now makes Conti a perfect fit for the right wing back role. And there's hardly any need to be worried about who will replace the now injured Conti. It was Ignazio Abate who started at right wing back in the recent 20 win over Spell. Conti's former Atalanta teammate Frank Kessie is also capable of playing at right wing back thanks to his versatile nature. More so, it will allow Suzo to make an impact in that role after having been dropped in the previous two games due to a change in formation. The former Liverpool man will have the time to get used to playing role and make himself a more well-rounded player than ever. Follow Costa on Twitter at the Foodamid Costa Pandy comments powered by Discus.